We're talking about how much of the current stimulus bill is actually related to COVID-19. Why are we talking about this? Well, the bill passed in the Senate on party lines and the House is set to vote on it this week. But politicians like Congressman Ted Budd claim with about 9% of it actually going to COVID, meaning 91% of it not even COVID related. So let's verify. Is it true that 91% of the stimulus isn't COVID related? Our main sources to find out are the Congressional Budget Office or CBO, the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget and the bill itself, the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. So there's a lot of political spin going on here. The term COVID related is broad. Does that mean actual spending on the vaccine and treatment? Or since the economy has been hurt by the disease, does that also include funds that help the economy recover? Well, politicians aren't really explaining what they mean. So let's take a look at the actual numbers. Right now, the bill is roughly $1.9 trillion. Of that, only about $265 billion, or 8.5%, is specifically listed for things like COVID testing, protective gear, treatments, vaccines, and distribution. That's 8.5% specifically for COVID-19, but that doesn't mean the rest of the bill isn't COVID-related. The largest part of the bill is $420 billion in direct stimulus payments to individuals to help with financial struggles caused by the pandemic. Another $350 billion is going towards extending unemployment benefits for those who lost jobs or income during the pandemic. And about $130 billion is being used to help schools reopen safely. That's another $900 billion set aside because of COVID-19's effects on our economy, unemployment, and schools. Now, to be clear, there are some parts of this bill, including $110 billion to increase the child tax credit that have been Democratic priorities before the pandemic. The Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget estimates the bill has at least $312 billion of policies that have little to do with the current crisis. But that's about 16% of the bill that's not related, not 91%. Bottom line, the claim that 91% of the stimulus bill is not COVID-related is false. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett.